everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays Crusader Kings 2. Now, on the last episode, I accidentally gave away half my kingdom unintentionally. So I went back to an earlier save, uh, which was the, it auto-saves every January 1st. And we're back in basically exactly the same position we were before I, you know, clicked through the menus far too quickly. Or the dialogue boxes far too quickly. Now, I'm pretty sure... Uh, it's been a couple of days here, but I'm pretty sure we are primed for an enormous civil war with one of our vassals. So I'm just gonna let some time pass here. Um, let me refresh my memory of what we have on the Intrigue menu. So, killing this lady is, is looking pretty good uh, on the Intrigue menu. From Factions, is this the lady we're trying to kill? No. Um, the most dangerous one is definitely Elective Succession in Ireland. So this is the lady I'm trying to kill. Also pretty dangerous, Princess Osluk of Scotland. Um, what if I can get this guy to like end his plot or something? Anyway, demand religious conversion? No? What an asshole. Okay. So we're going to speed up time just for a little bit here, and uh, maybe I'll start making my own plans uh, if nothing happens within, like, the course of this year. Oh, here we go. Your wisdom and mercy are legendary. I refuse to back your foolish plot to kill Duchess Holmfried, the first of Strangthjord. Well, thanks a lot for nothing, lady. You looked like a yes to me, but apparently not. Okay, here we go. So I knew that there was a civil war set to happen. Duchess Holmfried, the first of Strangthjord, has declared Scottish civil war for elective monarchy on King Northern Lion the first, the third of Scotland. Alright, so right off the bat, um, we can look at what's going on here. Thankfully, due to, uh, I guess, half-decent or at least better uh, vassal management, uh, I am not in an awful situation right now. I definitely have more troops than uh, my enemies. And also, they are more fractured than that awful civil war we ended up having to fight against more right now. I just wanted to check something out here. Somebody said uh, that if I just like look for whales, I might be able to create the title... Uh, already, but um, I guess right now I can just create the Duchy of Galloway, which is just straight up waste of time. Anyway, we'll, we'll talk about that later. Who can we call in? The King of Burgundy may decide to help us in this war, so I say why the F not. Also, I apologize for all of these uh, Steam notifications coming down here. I always turn notifications all the way off, uh, but then they don't stay all the way off. So I, immediately, an intriguing scheme, she does back our plot good. Um, Immediately, I lost like 1,900 troops, uh, basically to the enemy force, uh, simply due to them having uh, the, like that was the enemy troops that basically were fighting with me before. So that might make things a little bit tougher on us here. Uh, we may actually be able to kill Duchess Holmford the first right now, which would end this war earlier. So uh, this carriage that she's traveling on will soon suffer an unfortunate accident, leaving no survivors. I bloody well hope so, because. Uh, you know, we find ourselves in an interesting war, that we, one that we should win for sure, but, uh, you know, things can go wrong, and I definitely don't want to hire mercenaries. Yes! King first, King Northern Lion I, the third of Scotland, successfully succeeded with the, succeeded with the plot to kill Duchess Holmford, the first of Strength, the Um Unfortunately, it's bad because uh, my involvement became known, but on the very least, she's dead, and now the leader of the war is, uh, you know, a 14-year-old, which is not necessarily the end of the world, but... Um, or not necessarily the end of the world for him, I should say, but, um, you know, good for me, I suppose. We are winning some battles here. I definitely do not want a white piece, so I want to make sure that these scum lords get eradicated off the face of the earth. Uh, and it should be easy enough for us to do so, although there is one sizable fighting force in Ulster there. Um, which obviously I am going to be concerned about. Attack! Attack now! Charge! I have gained the trait, uh, gained the trait Wrath, which is actually good because it gives us an extra martial stat, which means uh, we're gonna have a bonus when we lead armies here, um, simply because that improves our military ability. So where are these guys going? Galloway. So we will follow them there. Oh, they have decided to turn back. Probably a smart decision. Uh, let's just make sure we basically end the siege here. What is going on here? The ongoing civil war has caused both loyal veterans and various adventurers to make their way. To Sudrayar, or sorry, Suthrayar for the muster. That's good. We get another. Whoa, another 2,088 men. 2,288 men. No, another. Wow, 3,400 men. That was unexpected. Okay, so everybody, you know, meet and convene on this ground here, and we will create a sizable fighting force, uh, which we will use to destroy this force down here, because uh, this land is very rich, so uh, I shouldn't run into supply issues. Now, after we win the Civil War, which is essentially looking like a foregone conclusion now, um, We'll, you know, rework our vassals so that hopefully we have only uh, friendly vassals uh, that hold significant amounts of, amount of, amounts of power, I should say. Uh, and then beyond that, uh, we will also uh, turn our eyes to England. Now, England has been substantially weakened. As you can see, it's all, like, torn up here. And there's some uh, independent realms which I can probably snag some territory from, which is going to be nice. And I'm still, like, my, my goal for this whole series, uh, I thought it was going to happen substantially faster than it has happened, but it was to form Britannia, you know? Um, what's going on here? My son Barrett is modest and humble, never showing off or bragging. 
Uh, do we want him to be humble? Humble contains monthly piety plus one, but we do lose five prestige. But he likes us. So that's good. Let's go with that. That's okay. Uh, now we want to kill these guys before they finish this siege. This might actually give us enough to actually end this war, honestly, if we just defeat them here. Uh, unless they run away. Where are they going? Tyrone? Tier Canal, which is uh, up at the top here. So uh, I'm going to just go on the same path as them, which allows me to kind of head them off. I am losing a lot more men than I would like, but so are they. And we have succeeded and picked up another 19 war score here. Now where are these guys going? Excuse me, cat. This is not... Crusader Cats 2, this is Crusader Kings 2, so where are these guys going? We'll arrive in Oriel, so we should change our path just so we head them off again. Uh, continue whittling down their army, at which point uh, we should be able to win the war pretty easily. So we've captured uh, a notable person from the enemy side. Where are they going next? Uh, they are going to Stronfjor. Again, all of these counties have like weird names uh, because they were captured by Norse Kingdoms. Uh, Jill Bears de Rustornal was captured in battle. Fantastic. Um, where are you going next? You are going to Oriel, so we'll just continue going onwards here. Uh, and, uh, this should basically allow us to destroy the enemy forces right off the bat. We might have to siege some territory. First things first, I guess we'll siege the territory that, um, was already sieged. It also allowed us to get an extra 1% war score. Um, but no enemies really, uh, kind of await us here. So this actually became a substantially easier war than originally anticipated, simply because we got those extra, like, 5,000 men, or 3,500 men that came, uh, basically out of nowhere, uh, to help us out a great deal. So I'm excited about that. We're at 60%. I can't stop thinking about all the prisoners in my dungeon. They are at my complete mercy. This is where we can, uh, choose to lose piety to destroy our prisoners, uh, and, you know, do terrible things to them. Or we can gain piety, which I'm gonna do, because, uh, again, we're big friends with the Pope, so we can have people excommunicated. The more piety we have, uh, etc., etc. Anyway, the Scottish populace in Moray have embraced Norse culture. I'm not sure if that's good, but... Okay. I mean, I, I think we have Norse culture, but we also, there's Scottish culture. I don't know. I don't understand culture in this game 100%. Uh, I can look at a culture map, which is uh, one of these things here. There we go. Culture. So you can see that, like, if I zoom out, there's a lot of Irish culture here, but it's changing. There's a lot of Scottish culture here, but it's, culture here, but it's changing. I'm not sure what it's becoming, though. It might be becoming Norse. It might be becoming uh, Scottish. It might be becoming English. It might be becoming Irish, for all I know. Uh, but, you know, uniform culture is good. Uh, because it prevents, uh, or lowers the chance of, of civil wars. So effectively, uh, I'm just sieging territory now. Once we finish the civil war, we will decide what to do next, but it probably involves taking some of these, uh, small, independent duchies and kingdoms here. Resist your foul impulses, King Northern Lion the First, the Third. I, I want this guy to get a superlative, but he doesn't have one yet, unfortunately. So ticking war score is helping us out. We're at 66%. Now, the cook complained to me about my daughter, Asa, Asta's temper tantrums. Apparently, she punched her son in the face again. Hmm. Do we want her to have Wrath, or do we want her to have Patient? Patient is good. We'll see if we can maybe get lucky there. Uh, doesn't appear so, but that's okay. I always like to go with, like, objectively positive traits for reasons that should be obvious. Uh, Enforce Demands, no. He still has untouched armies and holdings, so we'll uh, go take those. And again, I can't form a title yet. We'll talk about this Welsh problem that we have, and why I seem to be unable to build the, or create the Kingdom of Wales despite owning, I think, way more territory than I actually need in order to be able to create it uh, once we finish with this civil war that we're dealing with right here, obviously. So these guys should be uh, caught out. 73% for us. I uh, just want to... Is that Jorvik again? No, it's Sudrear, who is apparently an independent realm now. And we are very, very close to our 100-year anniversary uh, of play in Crusader Kings 2, and I really did not expect to be able to continue, uh, you know, the situation we were in. Um... You know, we started in a fairly weak position and eventually built it up into something substantially stronger. Oh my god, what is this? Army of Yingvar, 9,000 men. Who is this? Leader of Yingvar's host. This is scary. I don't know what this guy is, uh, or where he's from, or who we are as long as you love me. Uh... I guess I will just siege... Who is the leader of this? Stra okay, so I'm going to siege this guy's capital holding, which is right here. Uh, and after this, my guess is that he will probably acquiesce. Let's speed up to speed 5 for a second, just to make the siege go faster. Prince Barrett is impulsive and seems unable to tell right from wrong. What should I do with my wayward son? Carry on, man. How about a pat on the head? He becomes arbitrary. Uh, or he can lose arbitrary. I don't like him being arbitrary. That's a, a kind of objectively negative trait. So they have uh, about a thousand men now. Uh, our daughter-in-law has died a natural death, which might actually be a good thing, because then we can marry our son off to someone new. So we have lost a siege here. We're actually losing land, unfortunately. Is this... Oh, he's 16 now, so he's become a real man, supposedly. 
And we will um, just finish this siege, which again should take me all the way to the war score. I need to get a, an enforced demands. There's a peasant revolt, but they're um, not angry at me. They're angry at everybody, but they're not angry at me primarily. So we're up to 81%. I guess I should just wipe out these armies from the enemy. Uh, and I'll have to slow down the speed here, because otherwise it's going to be real annoying. Now, wiping out these 800 men should give us another huge burst to our ward score. We captured a mare. He's also the cupbearer. What's interesting about that is that he, like, l uh, drinks the wine before the king does in order to ensure that it's not poisonous. So he's kind of a, a prestigious character in his court. Uh, still not interested in peace, apparently, but we are at 94%, so pretty soon uh, he's not going to have a choice in the matter, is he? Uh, we'll be able to wipe out another sizable force here. That takes us to 100%, and Civil War complete. It's kind of unfortunate that this guy ends up being imprisoned uh, because it was his mother that started the war. That being said, um, you know, you mess with the bull, you get the horns. We actually managed to pick up some extra money in that war as well. Um, we should uh, definitely lower our military right now so we can rebuild it. Our son is unmarried, so it would be in our best interest to maybe get something set up there. He's, he's got such high intrigue skill. Um, he he's, could get married to a nice lady here. So let's um, search all for women who are not in prison. I'm not sure if he's into that, but uh, we'll make the decision for him. My religion, my culture doesn't really matter. He can marry the Queen of Poland, but she's a little old. What about marrying the High Priestess of uh, Lesser Poland? She wants to improve her intrigue. This is a match made in heaven. Um, High Priestess of Lesser Poland. That sounds good to me. Let's see if she'll be interested in the marriage here. So that's her and uh, my son. No! That's unfortunate. How about uh, the Duchess of Saxony? What are her traits? Mastermind theologian. I like that. She's got really great learning. She's uh, chaste, which means she's not going to have that many kids, which might actually be okay. Um, so let's have her see if she matches up with my son. Yes! Okay, so he would gain four prestige, and he'd marry the Duchess of Saxony, which might provide a powerful ally uh, in times of war. So let's let time go by here for a second to see if they accept. I assume they will. Excellent. We can uh, collect a royal duty. Of course I will. I guess that means he's not our spy master anymore. So we're no longer Craven. That's good. Craven uh, had a, a martial problem uh, for us. We do have another good... Um, is that our son? It is our son. We are bro uh, breeding some great uh, spy masters here. We're just going to have him study some technology in England. Okay. So, um, let's look at our vassals quickly because that has been historically our biggest problem. Uh, many of them are pleased with us. This guy is not. Now, let's look at factions, just see if there's any angry factions. Not really. Uh, the Independence faction here, um, I wonder if we could just have her murdered. We already start at 56%. We're basically just going to murder everybody who is not on our side. Um, we don't have enough here, though. That's 20, 32, only 32 extra percent, which is not quite enough to take this all the way to the top. So, the other thing we could do is, like, revoke counties. Um, but let, let's look at our vassal list again. So, who's our problem? Uh, the vassals. This guy. Oh, we can revoke his county as well because he's in jail, so they can't do anything. Um, this will lower his opinion or her opinion of us by 80, but we have a claim on it, so there's nothing they can do about it. Um, and we've become the Jarl of Galloway, which actually might make us uh, more hated amongst our vassals because we just took a duchy, but I'll give that to somebody else. Uh, who else do we have? Um, this guy. He's obviously not a big fan of us. We'll revoke his title, the Jarldom of uh, that area. Oh, we, we don't have. Revocation, but we can get revocation, I believe, by just um, becoming the Kingdom of Ireland and uh, trying to raise uh, our opinion, or trying to raise Crown Authority to low. Then we can get revocation. Now, people are not at excited about this, um, but we want this to pass. We only have seven votes. We need 32. Is this this is the list of opponents? But so many of these people are pleased with us. I wonder if I could just like execute this guy or banish him. Mm, no, it seemed as tyrannical. Um, we could ransom him off to himself for 100 gold, but who else is like... This guy's just displeased with us a little bit. What if we just send him a gift? 20 gold to make him a little happier? Well, we'll see if this goes through. Anyway, um, who are our other vessels that are displeased with us? Uh, thanks, by the way, in the comments for that tip. Obviously, this guy's pissed. That makes perfect sense. We can revoke his title because he's in Scotland. Uh, and now let's look at our vassals again to see... We'll, we'll on pause and see if people are pissed at us because uh, we have too many duchies. Doesn't appear so. People on the whole seem pretty positive. The ones who are not positive about me are largely in jail. So, uh, big deal. What are our odds of murdering this man? 51%. Who else is uh, possibly going to join this? Let's sort by plot power. 28%. Not even close. 22%. Not even close. 
Ah, uh, it's unlikely. So this this chief of Fife, I just want to see his land. He has so little land, but I still don't like having a vassal that hates me so much. So let's scroll down to him again. Uh, why does he hate us? Too many held duchies. We're a tyrant. We fired him from our council. So he's got a lot of reasons. Mostly he's just uh, desirous. He wants some stuff. Um, but otherwise we're okay. So let's let's look at England right now. We have this uh, area right here. The West Francian... Oh, whoa. That's West Francian now? No, that's the Duchy of Northumberland. This is very strange. His liege is the Prince of West Francia, who is also the Duke of Northumberland. Okay, so I don't necessarily want to get uh, West Francia against me. Do I have my council doing things where you're fabricating claims? You're doing a pretty shit job of it, I've got to say, but uh, I do need this county to kind of create some contiguous borders. Let's let, let's let time go by for a little while. Um, so far, I think it's going pretty well. I'll periodically check in on my vassal list just to make sure that people are still cool with me, and we'll, you know, we'll check in on laws for Ireland as well. Uh, we're close to being able to pass this. Being able to execute this man might go a long way. Who's his heir? He likes me. We can't kill him, though, because he's in jail. I mean, we can kill him. Um, he hates the shit out of us, though. He wants to be married. Hmm. I don't know. Interesting situation. We have ten-week claims. Let me think about this. Durham, the Duchy of Aquitaine. That seems like a silly idea for me. And uh, the we can go for the County of Cumberland. Let me find that here. We can claim Gloucester. Where's Cumberland? Oh, he's currently revolting. Okay, so we're, we're just going to let some time pass to let... Um, the world sort itself out. My daughter is aiming for the stars, the ambitious little brat. Fantastic, yeah, take the ambitious trait, I'm okay with that. Uh, the Lords of Ireland have approved the institution of the Limited Crown Authority Law. That's something that's important because now we can go into our uh, imprisoned vassal here and we can revoke his title. Must have a special revoke reason if we have a truce. Title cannot be the target or the justification of any ongoing war. Alright, so we still have a truce with this dude for a few years. Then we'll be able to revoke it, never fear. Uh, but for now, we'll just leave him in jail, I suppose. Uh, and we'll let some time go by. So there's another autosave. Uh, we, our son has become a spy master for Sa Saxony. That's okay. I'm, I'm alright with that. She's modest and humble. Humble is good. Uh, and you know what? Let's let time go by until about, uh, January, or, sorry, June of this year. My liege, I wish to intercede on behalf of one of your vassals. Absolutely not. So we'll let it keep going until June. My prisoner is complaining. Let him rot. Always let them rot. Uh, we have lost our steward. How did he die? I don't know, but he's uh, left, he's inherited, or given some titles for inheritance to other people. Our steward. Uh, we have some people with pretty good stewardship stats, so I'm okay with that. Why don't you research some economy tech up here, and we will approach June soon. My son has his nose in the scriptures. Do we want him to be zealous? F yeah, we want him to be zealous. That gives him ex extra martial skills in case we end up playing as him. My king, I'm pleased to report the majority, the majority of the populace in Athol has been converted to the Catholic faith. Always good news. Um, there's the Swedish army on the British Isles again, which always irritates the shit out of me. Uh, during a mission to try and fabricate a claim to a title in Chester, my Chancellor has been murdered! That is, you know, actually pretty horrible, but I guess we'll have an opportunity to get a new Chancellor, one who can hopefully get the job done this time. Although this guy's, uh, skill is a little bit lower. But yes, continue in Chester, please. And, uh, in one second here, it is gonna be June. We have 1200 gold, that's a lot. We should definitely build provincial improvements, but I'm not a clever man. Uh, is there still a crazy war going on here? I believe so. Let's declare war. Yeah, he's currently rebelling. Can we have him excommunicated? No. I don't like this Pope, man. Um, I, I wonder if I can declare war on England. So, okay. I, I think she's beloved. Uh, we can request excommunication. and We definitely are not going to get that done. Uh, but basically, we can request an invasion from the Pope if we have... Um, is this guy part of... Yeah, there's like a weird Northumberland war here that I don't like. Uh, but we can um, request an invasion via the Pope, which basically means that we say, Hey, Pope, can we invade this dude? And he's like, I don't know about that. Um, they're they're pretty good Christians. And we say, oh, come on, man. Like, I just want to subjugate some people. And then maybe he'll say yes. I, I really want to do something, but there's not much that can be done as long as this war is still going on. I still have to go to war with England, but I don't have any uh, great claims. I guess... County of Westmoreland. Where is Westmoreland? King Dyer the Unready. That is not a good uh, name for him. So we don't want Breda. We want uh, Westmoreland. Claim Aquitaine. That's an interesting one. I don't know if we want to do that right away. 
Claim uh, Leicester. Is Westmoreland in here? No. Where the heck is Westmoreland? I can claim Gloucester. There we go. Westmoreland from England. Uh, does she like us? She has a 53 opinion of us here. Where is... This is Westmoreland right here. Do we really want to declare war on England right now? She's already fighting someone, right? She is at war with... Um, is there not a way to see this? She's a ton of allies. Well, you know what? Why don't we declare war on England right away? We have a lot of men, which is great. Um, if we can get Westmoreland, again, that kind of continues with our borders here. Unless I can declare war on her um, for the opportunity to take something else. Gloucester? I mean, Gloucester seems like... If I can get Gloucester and Somerset, that would be amazing. Who likes us the most, though? Our Chancellor? Our Chancellor is pretty fond of us. Um, how about this lady? She also likes us a little bit. Also, big fan. Everybody likes us, man. We have a de, de jure claim on Warwick. Where's Warwick? Ah, I don't want... Ah, you know, it could be okay. Uh, this is the f first war with England I've had in a little while, so I'm just trying to figure out how I want to do it. Um, let's go with um, Gloucester for this lady. And then, yeah, that seems fine by me. So we'll send this. We are now at war with England. Is this a smart decision? Y slash N? Who knows, man? We'll, we'll see. Um... So first things first, we should organize this northern force. This is the main thorn in my side, is that these forces take forever to kind of mobilize and get into a good position. Uh, I have a feeling that I... that a few of these men are basically doomed? We'll see though, there is a 2800 strong force here. They're also fighting a war with uh, Lancaster, or not, not Lancaster, uh, Northumberland right now. So I'm just going to drop these 100 men back here because that's probably the only way that they stand a chance. They're fighting a, a war against Lancastrian peasants, that's for sure. Um, let's get these men merged up so that we have uh, a strong fighting force here. Uh, we, we're going to have a very strong force from the north as well. And I say we just start sieging this territory right here so that we can get a head start on our uh, our war here. The, you know, remember, the higher our war score, the better things are going to be for us in the long run. Where are you going? They're just going to continue to fight East Francia. There's some crazy shit going on in England right now. Uh, and maybe it's not great that I'm a part of it, but as long as I can continue taking some of this territory from England, uh, that's good news uh, because it's going to make it easier to win an eventual conquest in the long run. Hopefully, where are you going? Jorvik. I do want to wipe out this force because it's like a free war score bonus. They managed to get away briefly. Let's keep this up, and I'm um, keeping my siege up at the same time. This is uh, looking like it may blossom into a, a longer episode than originally anticipated. Uh, but that's okay. So there's a Swedish force here that is also fighting England, strangely enough. Uh, I'm trying just to push these men basically into my other fighting force so that they're going to have to go to town on me. Uh, but I'm also opening up a path for these extra 100 men to, to come through here. And, uh, event oh, I didn't want to do that. I, want, I wanted these guys to go back and actually siege, but... Um, I guess we, we won the battle here, so that's not the end of the world. Uh, we got zero war score as a result. You go back and siege, and you 6,000 men come wipe out this English fighting force here. Uh, your experience in matters of war is increased, and there are many things you will do differently in future battles. Let's study organization, which is going to give us extra movement speed, which seems awesome to catch people. Uh, yes, I think that's what I want. Because the faster we move, the less I have to chase these enemies around, and that's been a big sore spot for me lately. Wiping out this very uh, large English force. Oh my god, we have another one here. Why not uh, master the flat terrain bonus here? Um, but yes, the um, wiping out this English force is going to be a major blow for them. We got 11% war score for that, which is pretty substantial. Uh, and then we'll just move these 100 men up here, because they should be able to make some good stuff happen. Now, what is it? This is the seat of England right here, right? In, um, where is this? Winchester. I believe this is the seat of the English throne, so by sieging this, we should be able to get them to submit uh, a little bit faster. Hopefully. We might as well wipe out this other force here just before we siege it, because it'll only take two seconds, and uh, will probably give us another, yeah, 6% war score, which is really good. Now, uh, we want to finish this war. One second. My, your son, Prince Nils, has decided to list with the Varangian Guard in Miklagard and seek his fortune there, although he will no, no doubt gain both riches and valuable battle experience in the service of the Greek king. There will be many perils that could well cost him his life. I will not allow it. No. Yes, go to Milk <laughs> Miklagard and make me proud, son. Please do. Is that my, my direct heir? No. It is one of my sons, though. Or is it? It might have been my direct heir, actually, now that I think about it. I've got a lot of uh, good sons here. Does this mean he's in the Varangian Guard? No. He's in Mains to Scheme. Study Technology. Maybe it was this guy that just left. Anyway, uh, leaving for the Varangian Guard? Cool beans, man. It would make me proud. 
We have an intricate web weaver. She's our daughter, which means she's probably got a crazy high intrigue. Yep, plus six intrigue. Uh, which is good. Again, I've been, what can I say? I've raised uh, some wily children here. And uh, Nils Bananadong became Sakalarios for this man, which is good, I guess. I mean, he's uh, something for the captain of the Varangian Guard, so he's, you know, making his way in the world today. I can have dinner with parent with other parents and tell them I'm proud of my son. My prisoner is complaining. We will let him rot, even though it looks like he's 10 years old. Can we just have some successful sieges here, please? I don't want to have to deal with all this politics, man. Crusader Kings in a nutshell, I guess. I I'm going to speed up to speed 5 for now, uh, just to make things go a little bit faster here, and hopefully... My son Barrett hardly eats anything for fear of turning fat. Temperance is a virtue. It is indeed. Extra stewardship means higher realm sizes, which is fantastic. Um, no dangerous factions right now. I, I will say, I'm not trying to toot my own horn here, but I have gotten a lot better at uh, managing my vassals and, and my, my realm in general, uh, which I think is going to serve me very well moving forward. That is largely thanks to the comments I've gotten. So I appreciate that. They have actually gotten a little extra war score bonus here, which is weird. Uh, and unexpected. Maybe that's because they finished another war, but we're about to, yeah, we sieged Winchester, which is fantastic. Um, and we're sieging another territory here, which is the territory we're actually, like, primarily going for here. We're now known as King Northern Lion the Third, the Great. Fantastic. That is a, a good superlative to add. My liege, the people of Winchester have progressed beyond our own technological level. I believe that. Uh, we're going to win two more sieges here quickly. And uh, hopefully get a higher war score bonus. That takes us to 31%, which is pretty good. And we are just tearing through this English land here. I want to end this as soon as possible. I want to. We're going to have to enforce our demands, because otherwise there's no point in fighting for it. Uh, our steward has died after a period of illness. Bad news. He was a good guy. But let's have him study technology uh, up in gallery. Why not? Um... Yeah, we want to end this as soon as possible because uh, obviously I don't want to be dealing with these English uh, on a much more widespread level, but it's possible that they actually just might not have troops. My son Marcus is concerned that he's still not married. I will find him someone nice. I'm in the middle of war right now, uh, but at some point I, I will find him an excellent bride that will uh, benefit him. This is apparently a good time for us to go to war with England because they're busy trying to take out Northumberland here. And uh, we'll make Northumberland's job a lot easier by uh, basically trouncing them like so. Now, uh, we cannot enforce our demands yet. Why? She's losing, but she won't give up yet. That's fine. We'll just uh, continue to, you know, destroy their people and their way of life systematically. Again, it's, uh, it's all a game, people. If this was real life, that would be a horrible thing to say. But, uh, oh, she is offering me peace now. What is this? Uh... We gain the county of Gloucester. Perfect. That's exactly what I wanted. So now, um... Wait a minute. Is she like an independent realm here? She's in prison. I will offer her vassalization. She'll accept. This is a weird situation. Ye okay, so people have been converted to Catholicism, which I think is good. Let's lower our armies for now. And uh, she should become our vassal? Yes. So now we have uh, Scotland over here. Now, um, I would like for her... To not be in jail. Now, who is she imprisoned by? Let's go back. I've never dealt with the situation before. Uh, she's imprisoned by probably the Queen of England, I think. It's hard to tell. Uh, but let, let's talk to her, though, the Queen of England, and see if maybe she can let someone out of prison. Uh, maybe we can't do anything about that. Anyway, at the very least, we did pick up some more territory here. And uh, I would say that was a successful series of invasions. Now, if we could just get Somerset, which is really maybe where we should have our Chancellor uh, go. Oh, we have a great new Chancellor actually here. Or Chancellor Potential. If we can get Somerset, we're making serious inroads into England. So although this was a little bit of a... I wouldn't necessarily call it an anticlimactic episode. We did indeed fight two wars. Uh, we're making really good progress uh, across the British Isles here. And we may soon, finally... Uh, be able to create Britannia. We're probably missing a few counties. Uh, you know what, maybe over the course of this episode, maybe because we're doing this episode here, uh, I can do one more county. Actually, I don't think I can because there's um, a truce that I have. This guy's not independent. Is this guy still revolting against his liege? Like, I wish they would sort that out. Okay, well, whatever. We'll, we'll end the episode here. This is pretty good. I uh, just quickly want to check on something. How are our vassals doing? Uh, largely pretty pleased, except for this dude who's in jail, but I might be able to just revoke his title now. Nope, uh, we still have uh, a truce. That's unfortunate. That will actually lower our vassal's opinions of us as well. Um, this guy's gonna be released from prison if he accepts this, which I don't want. If we banish him, it lowers our vassal's opinions. If we ransom him, we'll at least get some gold for him leaving. I, it sucks that I can't kill him while he's in jail, uh, without angering people anyway. 
Uh, and we still have an independence movement here, and it's very difficult for me to uh, kill this lady, apparently. Oh, maybe it's because we're working on another plot right now. Are other people interested in this? Not at all. So maybe we'll stop that, and we'll try to kill this faction leader. Because we've got to maintain, like, a, a a pull on this faction if we're going to be able to, uh, you know, not get involved in 85 succession crises when my king dies. So um, we might as well just invite as many people as possible, and then we'll talk about, you know, bribing them later. Uh, we might actually have enough to get over 100%, which would be huge. So we'll invite you and you and you, and uh, I think there was one more that was interested. Nope, that's it. Uh, and the last thing was, one of my sons, Marcus, wanted to get married. So we might as well take care of that over the course of this episode. So King, or Prince Marcus of Scotland, uh, let's look for a beautiful blushing bride that can give us some political power, hopefully, and help us uh, proceed in our uh, engagements here. So yes, we're searching all for women. Uh, who are not married, and preferably not 80. She's the High Chiefess of Greater Poland. She's still not interested in getting married with us. She wants to become King of Poland. Wow, that's a great um, ambition there. I don't think she's going to be too excited. Uh, yeah, she's not excited at all about marrying my son. Uh, what about the 15-year-old Duchess of Brunswick? Sadly, that won't work for us because we need her to be um, a little bit older. We could arrange a betrothal, but I don't really want to do that. How about this? Countess of Santiago? Uh, she is naive appeaser, not great, slothful and just. Yeah, but, you know, she's a nice lady. I could use some uh, allies in Castile. You never know how Castile is going to do in, in these games. Uh, so we've got her and my son. She's excited. We gained four prestige as a result of that. Let's let a little bit of time pass just to see if there's any intrigue. And we'll take a look at Western Europe as well. It looks like the Reconquista is going very well. Uh, Hungary, again, continues to bloom. Italy's looking all sorts of effed up. There's a, an Islamic presence in there, which is a little strange. Burgundy, West Francia fighting it out over here. East Francia is all sorts of chopped up. Sweden looking real good, though. Uh, anyway, let's uh, let some time go by here. We have... Uh, oh, we have a dangerous faction, actually. Okay. A young man claiming to be a lord who disappeared seven years ago has found his way to my castle. He sings of the fair queen of Efland, and some say his songs are prophetic. Uh, should we become kind? I don't want that. Just an old drunk throw him out. He finally found his way home then. Uh, sure, let's just have him be in the court. Who, what is this dangerous faction? Is it independence? It is independence. For who? The High Priestess of the Huberth. I don't want to give her independence. This is why we want this lady murdered. Um, this is becoming a strong uh, faction, though. Uh, a lot of people are backing our plot. We are at 80%. What do I have to do to convince some of these people to join us? This guy is so close. Why is he not willing to join the plot? Base reluctance? I mean, let's... We can't send him a gift. Can we request excommunication? I guess he won't join because we're like a bishop. Oh, he's currently considering a plot invite from us. Uh, he accepts our suggestion that they get married. That's good. Um, he will indeed back our plot. Who else is close here? Not close. Not close. So close! I don't understand. Anyway, Spymaster. We need a new one. Borkvard. Great name. I appreciate it. We'll have you scheme in here to hopefully keep me from being killed. Actually, you know what? We should have him scheme... Um, I can't have him move now. I was going to say we should have him scheme in uh, wherever the faction leader is and discourage people from joining the faction. But, uh, okay, let's look at this again. Uh, I have my intrigue menu. We're at 90.4%. I just want to let a couple days go by to see if uh, more people are joining the plot. It appears not. Um, and nobody's close, right? Nobody's close at all. Hmm. Uh, what's, this guy's opinion of me is not good. I don't know, well, I guess we'll just let some more time go by. Let's finish this one, we'll, we'll, we'll let it go, because we are on the 100 year anniversary here. Congratulations to everybody involved. Um, I guess that's mostly myself. But anyway, um, we have 1600 gold. I should really do something with this. Like, uh, is there anything intriguing that I can do? Not really, I can invite people to the court. Uh, I could build some provincial improvements, like, so let's do that in our, um, best financial provinces. So, in particular, Gwynedd is a great financial uh, boon for us. I had no idea. Uh, maybe I can build uh, something in this general area. I am very bad at building improvements, as you are probably noticing right now, but I don't, know, I, don't, I, don't, I don't own this land, so there's no point in me doing that. Uh, let's instead build provincial improvements in lands that I actually have control over. So, uh, we'll build a church. This will give us a extra piety, or we can build like a church town, which gives us extra tax, which I think is a smarter idea. Let's do that. A little gold down the drain, but that's okay. Uh, do we own this land? Yes, we do. So, we will uh, build another church town, just to give us a little extra income. You know, money is power in this game. 
Build a... Oh, we can't build a church town. We need church walls, too. We need to level two keep. What about barracks? Infantry? Infantry? Um, let's build a church here. Extra piety doesn't hurt. And that's a lot of money spent. And again, we'll just let this go until December. See if anything crazy happens. Uh, what I did there is I just went to the economy map mode to basically uh, allow myself to see which are my most valuable provinces, essentially. All right, so it's January 1st. Good episode. Um, very few negatives that we can talk about here. Just very quickly check and see if we can get this lady killed now. It appears not. Luckily, we have not gone to civil war yet. I don't anticipate the civil war being a real big negative. Actually, they have lost some support. What's our military looking like? Strong. Strong enough, definitely. Uh, on the next episode, we will probably, uh, hopefully get a chance to take out Somerset here and kind of create some more contiguous borders. That'll help us out. Uh, mostly my OCD. Hopefully this Northumberland War will, like, come to some kind of end so that I don't have to, like, deal with this, uh... Basically, like, I don't want to declare war here because if he stops rebelling, then my war will end at the same time. So that it sucks. Um... Anyway, as always, thanks for watching. I'm going to save the game, and uh, I appreciate the support you guys have given this series so far. Hope you are enjoying it, uh, and our ch uh, quest to become Britannia continues and has actually uh, grown a little bit here. So again, as always, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys next time.